Well, hello everyone and welcome, welcome, welcome to Woman on Fire TV. I am Pat Rogers and I have here with me today, Dr. Deborah Drake. And we're going to interview her and see exactly what it is that she does, how she got started and what she has to offer society. Welcome. Thank you, Pat. It's so nice to be here with you. We've had quite a weekend of blending of the mind, the body, and the spirit this week, haven't we? <laughs> Absolutely, yes we have. And what I would like for you to do, Dr. Drake, is tell our listening audience a little bit about you and about the business, that your service that you offer. Well, I have the luxury of uh, being a musician and a physician, and when that uh, <clears throat> wasn't actually well accepted, I went into bioenergetic medicine and was became a protege of Dr. Sheila McKenzie oh, okay. at the World Organization of Natural Medicine, and I extended my uh, so we say Western medical education as a 25-year professor of doctor in family medicine, emergency and sports medicine. And I took a transition, uh, actually by force, I was suspended without pay for a year because I was healing mm. people with bioenergetic devices which were not the standard medical radiate, medicate, operate or vaccinate. Wow. So uh, I came to heads with the College of Physicians and Surgeons and said we need a complementary medicine policy that allows doctors with extra training to do things beyond what has been done 50 years ago. The new technologies really are, are quite wonderful, so I studied for 5,000 hours of extra education in 50 cities around the world, found out what other doctors do in other specialties, and uh, when I came back to Canada, Dr. Sheila McKenzie uh, became my mentor and taught me all the things that I didn't know that I thought I, thought I was so good at, but really was quite ignorant in some things like acupuncture, Chinese medicine, uh, Ayurvedic herbology, uh, the, the thousands of herbs in Canada that we don't even use that are safer than some of the pharmaceuticals wow. I was taught to use. And eventually I came to meet some people who had serious Lyme disease and asked me to create a software to heal them with musical software. And when I joined up with their team and eight of us, with uh, about eight of us with about 20,000 hours of education each, we put our talents together to make the best sort of cart for humanity we could. We merged four technologies called a music mixer, a specialized musical amp. We made a special musical speaker called a coil speaker, so you could be having the speaker put right on your body, wow. and it would vibrate you with silent music, but with the vibrations of healing tones. So there's a liver song, a kidney song, a, a brain song, a, a, a super learning song. And if you sit at home and use these musical tones called biotunes, biological tunes, you can actually tune your body up with non-invasive modality. Let me ask you this, can you give, uh, that, what you're saying is very interesting and I did see the demonstration yesterday and I was very 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 intrigued by it and as you know we will be getting with you later about that but what I would like for you to do is give the listing audience your website address so that they can go on yeah. there and they can really learn because exactly. you have a lot of valuable information. Well, it's important that all of you know that we built this for home users so that there wouldn't be any training required. It's all online. It would be user friendly. So if you want to go to ampcoil.com, say that Dr. Drake sent you, there's an intercom session there, there's a blog, a science and technology awesome. page, a training page where you can see how the software looks and how easy it is to use from your tablet and you would plug this in at home and use it for your family and your whole family. I mean, I've been having a riot awesome. this week uh, using it on people, but one particular one I wanted to tell you was I had two autistic boys who were paralyzed in the vocal cords from a vaccine, and when I put the coil on them, they started singing Star Wars to each other. Wow. And it was just an amazing moment where, you know, you know that there's something in there that needs to be unlocked, but now we have a, like a GPS system to manage this, and we manage this whole system based on your voice print. It's your wow. voice analysis that tells you all about yourself non-invasively. Okay, so what I want to say is, okay, I would like, I, you, you mentioned earlier that about being terminated because of, I, basically, you're, well, you're basically for speaking out and sharing your knowledge and That's wealth it. and we, well, well, wealth with, each, with other people. And I know for a fact that sometimes pe we become a target when we know too much. That's it. So that's the way it sounds to me. Yeah. But what I wanted, so I would say that that was probably one of your biggest challenges. It was. But what I would like to know from you, and I guess that you probably already answered that because you say everything with so much joy and energy and success. But what has been one of your biggest successes with, with, during your career? Well, basically, I've had such a luxury of having a degree of education in so many elements that for me my greatest joy now is that I've been able to translate my brain into a digital mini-me, into a software that mimics my brain and my brain is really not my brain, it's mimicking mother nature. Awesome. So I've been able to make a great accomplishment I think by making a software that mimics mother nature so you can tune yourself up back to her. 
Awesome. I'm just the conduit of God's information. Absolutely, absolutely. And I like that. That's very true. Also, what I want to know from you is it without the new, um, we have a lot of millenniums now that, mm -hmm. that, that really don't want to work the way you and I mm -hmm. came up. We mm -hmm. had to go to work, get an education and, and all of those good things, get mm -hmm. our degree. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people now, not just the millenniums, but a lot of people want to work from home, want exactly. to do their own work, their own business. Exactly. So for those individuals who are, who are still working for corporate America and they are considering retiring and opening up possibly their mm -hmm. own profession, mm -hmm. what inspiring words can you say to them that would encourage them well, to uh, follow their dream? I know right now what I want to say, as Dr. Sheila and I have embarked on a campaign to raise the awareness of, of bioenergetic and healthful strategies, Sheila and I have made an online university where online training can be occurring and you can develop yourself an integrated health coaching course by 50 hours of training and 100 case studies using technology like Amp Coil. You can now make $150 an hour as a profession. You can take those coils, donate them to people and get t charitable tax credits and you could donate an Amp Coil to an Alzheimer's group and help them get well. You can send that to your children and get them super learning. You can take the diabetes and the weight market that are spending billions of dollars that aren't really gaining improvements in Americans and Canadians' health. They're, they're really not curing those diseases. We're just palliating them. And let's get down to the root causes. Awesome. Let me ask you this. Could you please give our listing audience an email where they can contact you? We sure. got the website, but I think we need to throw that email in there because somebody out there may just want to get in touch sure. with you. Sure. Well, you can try and reach and me at Deborah, D-E-B-O-R-A-H, at ampcoil.com. And or you can visit uh, my website, which is called healthcounts.ca. And I have many links to some of these services, classes, and these technologies. I hope you'll check it out. We hope that you'll get involved because we want you to tune up and tone up and feel your greatest. Then you're going to be an inspiration to others around yourself when you're feeling your greatest. Awesome. Well, I want to say thank you so much. I've enjoyed you the whole entire weekend and thank especially you. this interview. Thank you for allowing me to interview you. And thank you so much again for being here with us on Woman on Fire TV. I'm and I'm so excited fire, because oh. you know this is our first this is our first episode and we're so happy to have you. Um, so true. with that, I want to ask you one last question that, for our audience. What is your favorite song? <laughs> that would be Barbara Streisand's Don't Rain on My Parade. <laughs> oh, I love it. Don't I love tell it. me not to live, just sit in flutter. <laughs> Life's candy, I love the it. sun's a ball of butter. Don't bring around no cloud to rain on our parade. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Dr. Pleasure Drake. You, and and I want to say I wish help. you the best and much success in all of your future endeavors. Thank and you. I'll be talking with you soon myself. Wonderful. Thank you all for tuning Thank you, in. Folks.